Okay, Tony from Baton Rouge. Okay, we all know how pain in the butt it is. You get a car and you want your garage to open and work. Now, here's a simple procedure. First of all, hold right and left buttons down till you get a fast blinking light. That's gonna clear any old codes people might have had. Clear it out first. Okay, now, most garage doors have the rolling codes. If you got one of the old ones, then you can be a little easier. But this is what you do. You want it on number one? Okay, you press number one and it should blink slow. Okay, you take your remote, hold it about right here, underneath it, press it down while this is blinking, and it's gonna go from slow blink to fast blink. Now, you don't have rolling code, you're done. But most of them have rolling code. So while that's blinking, you gotta run your little butt up there, have a ladder ready, find your button on your uh, garage door opener, which puts out your code. It's called a uh, pairing light or whatever, pairing whatever. Anyway, do that. While this is blinking, by the time you get back to your car, it's probably uh, no lights doing nothing. Press it, try to work it. Do it two or three times, and it should finally work. Your garage door will go up or down. So, hope that'll help you. <clears throat> you can read the manual. That's generally what it tells you to do. But, like I said, to summarize, you got to clear it. And when you press this, you get a slow blinking light. You put your remote on it. You get a fast blinking light. And you run over there and press that. Uh, find out where your button is that sends out the code. By the time you get back over here, it should have learned your code. But you may, you may need to do it a couple of times before it finally raises or lowers your door. So, hope that helps you. Thank you.